Hello again everyone, I'm here with uh, Missy Jen and we're here to have kind of an interesting discussion today. As some of you may realize on the channel, earlier this week, I think it was Sunday, I put up the video from the Ledson Winery and Vineyards and Castle out there and for Missy Jen and I it was a remarkable it was a remarkable trip for us and one that we really enjoyed uh, being out there. It really left an impression on us. Not only was the scenery spectacular to be out there with the roses and the uh, castle, and believe it or not, that castle is not really old. It was built in 1989, but it's a glorious looking place and a really wonderful family that runs that uh, that winery and they do a lot for the community and well to be able to open up that place and have people come visit and enjoy it i didn't even get a chance to really show the inside either but we're really here to talk about the camera i used to film that and this is really missy jen this is a really unusual camera it is as yeah. far as taking videos is concerned and it's it's unlike any camera i've ever used before and i had a lot of people message me and make comments and ask me to explain this black magic cinema camera now don't be fooled this is a this is a what they call a cinema lens that i have on here it does not come with the uh, unit i'll actually put the cap on this is the way the uh, the camera comes and i will cap my cinema lens here put that aside but this is the way the uh, camera basically comes and what's funny is and missy jan will bear me out on this the first time i got this camera and used it for a day i was like oh hell no and what did i do send it back i sent it back to b h photo in new york city and said there's just no way on god's green earth that i'm going to be able to use this camera now what is it about this camera what is a cinema camera cinema cameras are different from most cameras in that they have what's called a very wide dynamic range if you think of uh, dynamic range in photography and uh, cinema and videography as, as a piano keyboard, and imagine you, your average camera has maybe uh, one or two octaves of keys on it, but the Black Magic Cinema camera, if it was to be related to a piano, it would have about four octaves of notes for it. In other words, this camera is capable with its super wide dynamic range of capturing detail and uh, and colors and shadows what's in shadows unlike your average camera now how does it do that your average camera that you use a, a gopro or a canon camera it has what a, what's called a kodak a c-o-d-e-c -E in it and that Kodak is basically programming that tells that camera what to do with the image that it's taking in. In other words, it takes in a large image, but it's only pulling certain segments of that image and it's forming that together into a video that you see come out on your computer or your view screen. But the Blackmagic Cinema camera is different. This camera takes in everything and does nothing in its raw format to process the video you take. It, thus, it gives you complete and total control over the, uh, over the aspects of the way that the video is going to look. This is the type of camera they use when they make Hollywood movies. This is a little, a little brother to it. But they use that dynamic range, wide dynamic range of cinema uh, cameras because they can make the uh, video appear bluer and they can put that orange and blue sort of cinema look to something that you associate well with blockbuster space movies where they're in a capsule and everything always has a blue orange wash to it well you're not able to do that if you're running a regular camera because the the color grading person the person that gets that in post-production he doesn't want to get something that's already been colorized by some programming within the computer he wants right. to sit down 
and take that gigantic raw image and process that the way he wants to make it to have a blue cast to it to have an orange cast to it so it's taking raw huge files and this thing produces files three times larger than other cameras and it takes a long time to produce the video you're working with gigantic files because well the the cinema photographer and the editor they want everything they want everything captured and they want to be able to shift those colors and work on it. so if you think of it you can you can either think of this as a very dumb camera that just captures everything or you can think of it as an intelligent camera a very intelligent camera that just lets in as much range of view not by wideness but by details and other things than uh, any other camera so the bottom line is going to be interesting and i'm going to roll a little footage at the end of this video that's going to show you what the video looks like raw coming out of the black magic cinema camera and then applying the color grading to that and let me tell you the color grading is uh it is a it's a whole nother curriculum of pain and nightmare and yes, working it is, it is <laughs> incredible the number of it hours is. that i have spent learning this uh, learning these very complicated coloring uh, programs because when missy jen and i get on the road we want to be able to bring you the beautiful sort of cinematic experience at certain points of uh, what we see beyond what a camera programming tells it uh, to show you so we want to be able to have that control to be able to do post-production coloring and other things so that's it it's the uh, black magic cinema camera it's actually been around for four years yeah. and it's probably mo the most amazing camera because demand has not flagged even though there hasn't been an upgrade or a newer model brought out in four years people still continue to buy well i slept on it a little bit i learned a little more and i reordered the camera and uh, here i am trying again so that that winery vineyard footage isn't the best but it's a step in the right direction towards uh towards the uh getting used to working with raw video and doing our own uh, coloring and color grading on that Anyway, we thought we would share that with you uh, today. The nice thing is it uh, has a micro four-thirds mount, so it can use a lot of the lenses that I already have and things, cinema lenses and things like that. So I'm hoping that you're going to enjoy that. I know Jen and I are going to enjoy bringing uh, these experiences with you in a lot of different platforms, uh, a lot of different uh, devices that we're going to be using to capture video. You see that we're making... A big investment of time and money and this is this this alone is a thousand dollar uh camera here and when you throw on the lenses and things you're talking about two or three thousand dollars but it's going to heighten that experience of uh of uh, videography and i hope move that to a realm that you will really enjoy when we're out on trips not for capturing every day but for those really when you're putting together a composite video of uh, your visit someplace and it, it'll make it i think really really if find a find some place where there's a story to tell about something and you can do that then, visually and uh, you know open up that experience to right. people anyway thanks so much for being along today and i uh, discussed the black magic cinema camera probably the most weird camera you'll ever <laughs> ever buy in your life and if you're like me, the first couple of weeks, you'll curse it, you'll return it, you'll sleep on it, you'll buy it back, you'll shoot, edit, look, shoot, edit, look, and then eventually you'll come to really, really love it. Check out the video that uh, follows the raw versus the graded and uh, see what you guys think. Once again, thanks so much for being along, and Missy Jen, thank you also. She's had to put up with all the uh, all of the cursing and head banging that's gone on with this camera, the whining, and she's been a trooper through the whole thing. Well, this is my model that I use when I'm out uh, videoing. So what can I do? I got the best in the business here. Thanks so much for being along, everyone, and uh, your comments are welcome. Questions and uh, thumbs up. And uh, thanks for being along.